Today, I'm going to be showing you how to add this load more pagination to your project in less than five minutes. The tech stack for this project is Next.js, Tailwind CSS, and Faker.js to generate our fake data. So let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is set up our environment. To do so, I'm going to head over to GitHub and clone the starter repository that I've created, and then open that project on VS Code. When the project is in VS Code, I'm going to open up a terminal and do an npm install. Once it's done installing, then we are going to do an npm run dev. And then open up localhost on the browser. Here's what your page should look like in localhost. So we're done initially setting up our project. Now to start creating our pagination, we are going to go to the app directory and open up page. Once we're inside page, we are going to be creating a couple constants. Our data variable is going to be where we are storing our data. And our post per page variable is going to dictate how many items are we going to show on our page. Now by adding this, we also have to import use state. So I'm going to be importing that at the top right here. And since we are doing that, we have to also make sure we have use client at the top. The next thing we are going to do is create our use effect. Inside our use effect is where we are going to be setting our data. So it automatically added our use effect to our imports. Now we are getting our data from this file right here, generate fake users. If you want to know how I created this file, you could go watch my previous video, which I will pin in this section right now. Now, if we come back to our pages file, we are going to be importing the function that you just saw right there called generate fake users. Once we have that function imported, we are going to be setting a variable inside a use effect to that function. Generate fake users creates an array of dictionaries of fake users. We are then going to set our data to that output. From there, we are going to be adding a couple more constants. Since we are only showing a select amount of data at a time, we have to slice our data. And this is how you do it. After that, we are going to then change what we are returning on our screen. I am just going to create an empty main. Then inside here, we are going to be importing a cards component as well as a pagination component. And inside our cards component, we are going to be passing in our data. And the data that we are going to be passing is current posts, which is the amount of items that we want to show. And then within the pagination, these are the parameters that we want to pass, which is the total amount of posts that we have, the amount of posts that we want to show per page, and our setter function for posts per page. Now it's giving us an error saying that it's not defined, so we have to create these components. And to do this, we are going to be creating a folder called components at the root. And inside here, we are going to create a cards component as well as a pagination component. I'm going to be pasting in the code for the cards component. And inside my code, I am referencing a separate card component, which we also have to create by going inside components. Going inside that card file, I'm going to be pasting in the code. Now, if you go back to that cards file, what this is doing is it's creating a grid of card components. You see, I am passing our data, which is an array of dictionaries and mapping each item's data to a card. If we go to our card component, we are inputting those parameters and displaying our data. And you can see these other styling components. And that's how we set up our cards and our card component. Now inside our pagination, I'm going to be pasting in the code here. Now inside this pagination component, we have a load more button that's wrapped around a div for styling. The reason why we needed to pass these parameters is because we have to do a specific logic check. We want to make sure that we only want to show this load more button when we know that the post per page that we are requesting is less than the total post. Now inside our button, we have an on click function. So whenever we click the button, it goes to this handle load more, which goes to this constant right here, which references our set post per page function that is set in this page. Now, whenever we press the button, we want our post per page to increase by nine. Now, this is the styling for the button. If you want to take a look at it in the source code, this is what it's doing for that. Now, if we go back to our page, we have to make sure that we import those items. So we are going to import cards and pagination. 
Once we have that imported, we see that we have our data on the screen. Now I want to add some styling to our main tag so we could have a little bit nicer look to it. I am then going to go inside layout by adding class name and making the background equal to this. So now that we can see our cards a little bit better, when I press the load more button, we have more items that are showing up and we have 30 items of data. So if I keep pressing load more until I have all 30 items, then our load more button will go away. And if I refresh the page, it will start us from the beginning. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Like always, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.